what's up guys it's your boys coming at you again with another Madden tip before I get into the video today I want to reiterate something everybody's asking for defensive tips everybody's asking for gameplay so let me answer those defensive tip coming this Friday well end of the week I don't want to say Friday for sure but it's coming at the end of the week I got another controller I'm just trying to wrap up some more offense then we're getting into it so I got a really good run stopper I'm going to post at the end of the week first defensive tip then it's going to be a lot of defense from here on out. Actually, from then on out, I should say. And then gameplay, I'm trying, guys. It's just really hard. It's really frustrating that my computer can't handle the software. It just gets hot and distorts the quality of the image. I want to try streaming. I'm going to try streaming sometime this week on YouTube. You guys should probably just get a notification about that. It'll be once people get off work, so maybe like 6, 7 Eastern, sometime maybe Wednesday. And, you know, I do want to post more gameplay stuff. I know it's you guys want to see, it, you know, things work in practice mode differently than they work in online. But the stuff I post, guys, it, it's going to work online. It's just, it's a little bit more difficult online. Obviously, people users respond differently than AI. So they can take away things that you know that AI won't take away. So enough said with that. Uh, so just be on the lookout for the next week. And let's get into the play. So, Ravens playbook still weak, tight twins. So, this guy's going to be on a wheel. So, just kind of decide if you want to have your best tight end here or here. He's going to be on a slant here. You know, Kyle Juszczyk is good. So, he's got 81 speed, 89 overall. He's got decent hands, I think. So, that's why I have him here. You can put your best tight end there if you want or you can put him here. Just make sure this guy has decent speed, maybe above 77. So let's get into it. PA cross F wheel. Random. Put A on a slant. Should look just like that. And then we're going to cancel the play action as soon as the ball is about to be faked to the running back. So just like this. Man coverage is going to get beat every time. Some coverage, a little bit more tricky. Something's going to get open though. So your progressions are this. I like to read RB first, then A, and then X. Got a first down. Okay, so this is important. This is a play where it's like, I think it's Tampa 2, some kind of cover 2. And you're going to have a pick and choose over here. We're putting stress on this corner. He's going to have to pick between the wheel and the slant. He picks the wheel, but I throw the wheel anyways. Bad decision. Almost comes down with it anyways. What happened there was I went from my progressions, and I saw X was taken away from the, the linebacker, which is a telltale sign of cover two. Should have just registered that in my brain. And throw in the slant instead. So, have that thought process, guys. Easy first down. Got a lot of time in the pocket. Who really cares about this right here? Possession catch, get down. Just read that pick and choose. Again, goal line. B takes that that hook and then X gets open. So on the zone blitzes, something's gonna get wide open. Easy, simple play to run, guys. Not making a lot of changes. But it's gonna be a great play for you. Just 
like I said earlier, it's different in practice than it is against users. But this play, this concept in general, is used to put stress on the defense. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you did. Let's aim for 40. And as always, if you enjoyed daily Madden tips, please hit the sub button. Appreciate it, guys.